ओके जिसके एसकेल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो पार्ट टू और माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एसकेल सर्वर 2005 ओके आई जस्ट लेफ्ट इट बिफोर ओके एंड आई विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम रेड साइड लेट से आई वॉन्टेड टू एक्चुअली यूज अ क्वेरी एनालाइजर टू राइट अ क्वेरी बट इट इज नॉट शोइंग मी एनी वेयर अप ओके जस्ट गो टू द एनी डेटा बेस एंड सेलेक्ट पॉप्स ओके लेट्स गो आई शो यू टू यू गो टू द एनी डेटा बेस ओके वेयर एवर यू वॉन्ट टू लेट्स गो टू पब्स ओके एंड लेट्स गो टू द सेलेक्ट द टेबल ऑथर ओके स्टेट इज नॉट शोइंग मी एनी थिंग क्वेरी एन बट वंस आई ओपन द टेबल द मेनू इज बींग एडेड विल बी एडेड ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द मेनू ओके इन द टॉप मेनू एंड यू विल सी द देयर इज अ मेनू डेट विल बी शोइंग यू होल्ड ऑन वेट ओके देर इज अ मेनू डेट हैज कम टू द क्वेरी डिजाइनर ओके नाउ आई हैव सेलेक्टेड अ टेबल ओके एंड आज यू टू ओपन इट विल इट हैज जनरेटेड द सेलेक्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ओके डी बी ओ ऑथर डैट मीन्स इट हैज सेलेक्टेड ऑल द रूल्स ओके नाउ वेयर इज द डिजाइन ओके ऑफ द टेबल्स ओके नाउ गो टू द पेन एंड सेलेक्ट डायग्राम ओके यू कैन हैव गुड हैव प्रेस कंट्रोल वन ओके कंट्रोल प्लस वन एंड यू इट विल स्टिल हैव शो यू लेट्स बिक इट इट बी बिग बिगर ओके हाँ सो फॉर सो गुड नाउ सपोज हाउ डू आई एड मोर टेबल्स आई कैन राइट क्लिक एंड सेलेक्ट एड टेबल्स आई कैन डू इट फ्रॉम द क्वेरी डिजाइनर ओके ओके नाउ लेट्स गो एंड सेलेक्ट पब्लिश ओके कंट्रोल क्लिक द टाइटल ऑथर अगेन द टाइटल एंड प्रेस एड क्लिक एड सॉरी ओके एंड देन मॉन्स यू हैव डन ओके I can bring this publisher down to show you what the how the relationship exists between both of all the tables. Okay, wherever there is a key pointing towards, okay, that side there is a primary key, okay, of that table, and wherever there is a chain, that side is a foreign key of that table. Okay, now see A U I D is a primary key in the author, and the A U I D is a foreign key in the title author. Title I D is a primary key in the titles, and title I D is a foreign key in the title author. Pub I D is a publisher's foreign key a primary key sorry and it's a foreign key in the titles okay so far so good but it's not generated a sql because i have not selected yet anything let's go and select something some field of fields from every one of them thus maybe i have a select royalty per okay now let's go and select the type okay and maybe the title and then i will go and select the publisher name okay now it doesn't execute the sql okay i have to execute the sql whatever it has generated suppose if i wanted to see the sql okay how do i see the sql okay i again go to the pane okay and select sql okay, this is the sql it has generated now but it's not giving giving me that result that i i have to go and execute the sql and or press control r and this is how you get it okay it is actually executing the sql and it will give you the results and this is how you it will show up okay so you're typing the data hold on for a second it will come up and then there is one more pane that allows you okay to use the criteria okay that is known as criteria pane criteria is something like adding a where clause to the to your sql okay then in the end we will show i will show it to you how to use a, how to add a criteria and then we will be done with it okay hold on okay there we are we have the data and now i am going to show you the last part of this part is to go to the pane and let's go and select the criteria there we are okay and this is how the sort order is okay suppose if i wanted to sort it on the first name okay so i could have selected one sorting okay second sorted by this thing is two okay and then again i can execute the sql okay let's go and see how many states it has it is showing me for many states as you can see suppose if i wanted to actually filter it for the state equals to ca only that is california okay i go to the state
okay the reason it is not showing me the state is because i have not selected the state so i am going to select the state and i am going to show it to you how to do it let's go select the state okay and let's execute the sql again once more and let's say filter it by state okay this is ca ca and i think so it should work here we are done let's execute the sql again once more execute the sql okay and we should have the records for only for ca and there we are done with it as you can see it is showing me only the records for ca only all the other records have disappeared okay so far so good with this thing okay now let's move to the other part of the sql server management studio part okay i will show you the storage good let's go to the storage okay now let's there is a full text catalog partition schemes and partition functions okay now in the security i have here is the logins okay these are the logins that is actually from coming from the windows server okay because there are aren't many logins here it's not showing me only it is showing me admin as administrator okay then there are server rules that are be i am going to explain you later in some other video then backup devices okay let's go and see the backup devices what it shows it shows nothing because the thing is that i have not created any backup device i have to first create a backup device okay it can be on a disk it can be on a tape it depends upon what you want where you want to create this thing then there is a link server okay and then there is triggers triggers that actually get executed when the server runs not when you when not not the triggers that are getting executed with the database that with the tables okay and then there is a management okay and then there is a replication also now what's the replication is suppose you had two servers one in new york the other one in la okay now suppose you wanted to actually create a copy of a database in the from the new york to the la so you can replicate your database and it get gets exactly a similar copy in the la why do we really like to replicate the database in the first place first thing is that if you want to replicate a database is that you want to have a exact copy of a database somewhere else rule number 2 is that in the case if your database goes bad here or your server actually gets burned or something happens in your office or there is a earthquake somewhere okay you have another database somewhere else okay rule number 3 that is when you want a database to be actually having exact copy and as well as actually you want to take the report of the most recent okay data entered into your database okay and have the exact analysis rather than a old data analysis okay the most newest analysis of the data okay that's why when you actually use a replication okay a replication can be of two types a single type one way replication or two way replication of one way replication is that i am sitting in a new york and replicating the data to the la and the la database server is getting the data okay and is getting updated now what happens is suppose the the new york has a server and la has also server and the la server is also getting updated so you can have a two way replication okay the two way replication is that la i am replicating the data from the new york and data is getting updated in la and la is also sending me the latest updated data 
okay and a new york data new york database server is also getting updated okay that's a two way replication okay now going to into that thing is much more actually a technical thing and it can be done it can be done later okay okay let's see what other that's it i would like to end it here okay there we are done with it